Hi everyone, I'm John Peel, and this is Maincade episode number 21. What I'd like to do this episode is showcase a game that I feel was a really unique machine. It was Granny and the Gators by Bally Midway, put out in 1984. What made this game so unique was it was a hybrid between a pinball machine and a video arcade machine. And to the best of our knowledge, Bally Midway only produced about 800 of these machines. So 26 years later, who knows how many have survived and how many actually work. But if you stick around, I might have a surprise in store for you. So let's check it out together. The merging of video games and pinball machines seemed like a no-brainer. The arcade crash was in full swing and Bally Midway took a shot on something different to pique players' interests. They first released Baby Pac-Man in 1982, their first pin video hybrid, but it was poorly conceived and wasn't sanctioned by Namco, the makers of all things Pac-Man. The video game portion was very, very hard, and the pinball side was lackluster. That same year, pinball maker Gottlieb released their own hybrid, a game called Caveman that was much better but still failed to capture the hearts of players. In 1984, Bally Midway released Granny and the Gators, their second attempt at a pin video hybrid. You play the heroine, a shotgun-toting geriatric who's on a quest that takes her up the Nile and other rivers in a canoe looking for gold. The rivers are infested with killer crocodiles and the banks are lined with spear-throwing natives. You'll have to paddle up the river using two large paddle buttons on the control panel. You have to alternate them or poor granny will go in circles. Attacking gators can be shot at if you have the bullets and your aim is good. You can also hit them with your paddle if you time it just right, but that'll leave a bite mark in it and you'll have to overcompensate with it just to paddle straight. Some gators are faster than others, while the white ones are super fast. Natives will also try to sink you with their spears. Every time you're bit or hit, you sink a little until you're in the water and forced to swim to shore, losing a life. You'll also encounter tolls along the river that require payment to pass, and jagged rocks that could damage your canoe. But if you manage to navigate to the shoreline at certain points marked with the word PIN, your video game is paused and the pinball part of the game starts. Obviously the point is to keep the silver ball in play while racking up points, gold, and ammo. The playfield is much smaller than your standard pinball machine, and it isn't as flashy as most, but it is fun. Once your ball drains, it's back to the video game resuming where you left off, hopefully with some more ammo or even a POW that you can use to obliterate your enemies but you can't find it on MAME, well, that's due to the fact of its very nature, it can't be played on MAME. You could play a digital version of this using a pinball emulator called V-Pin MAME, but unlike video games that MAME can authentically reproduce, there'll always be something missing when a pinball game is emulated. The real physics behind shooting an 80 gram steel ball on a pitch table with a thousand factors involved in scoring can never really faithfully be emulated. Although, because Granny isn't a full-size pinball, its emulation isn't as lacking as a true pinball would be. This is Granny and the Gators in my collection, personally. Here's the game, and how it looks. And, of course, the pinball playfield. Lots of lights. And then here are the paddle buttons. This would be the left paddle and of course the right paddle. There are the fire buttons which also double for the one player and two player games. And this is the power button which I sometimes refer to as the POW button. And uh, that's how the game looks. So let's see if we can start up a game and play it up. Okay, so let's see if we can play a game of this. It might be a little tricky because of the video portion and the pinball portion. I might have to stop, pause the camera to reorient, to look at the play field. But here we go. So, Granny and the Gators. We're going to use the paddle buttons to make our way up the river. All right. There are bullets to my left. Money that you pick up to pay tolls. Now, there's a pinball thing there on the right. I'm going to avoid it for now just so I can go up the river a bit. See the alligators and try to shoot him. Oh, he got me. So when you shoot, you shoot a double shot forward and backwards from your bow and from the rear, the aft of the canoe, not left and right. So you have to keep that in mind when you orient. 
You get, you get hung up sometimes. Let me try to shoot them. There you go. Oh, so you can avoid the tolls if you go around them. Money. It's not as easy as you would think. Oh, I just hit him with the paddle. That's cool. If you don't have enough money, the toll bridge does not open. Oh, I'm getting shot. Ah. Spears got me. Okay, now we're going to try going to the pinball section. Now, Granny's pinball section is a lot smaller than your average pinball machine, though it has all the elements of a good pinball game. It has normal size flippers, it has bumpers, it has rollover, it has targets, and it has all the lights and, and sounds of a pinball machine. But it's a little smaller, and because of that, the ball goes really fast, and it could be easy to drain. You want to get out of this game with extra ammunition, uh, maybe a pow to uh, knock out the alligators when you get up there. But uh, it is fun, and uh, as you can see, I'm sorry for the lights. The lighting was bad, but you can get the gist of the game. Once you lose the ball, you're back to the play field where you left off.